Hello everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steve. Today I'm going to do an overview on this motherboard from Gigabyte. This is the Z87 HD3. Okay, so here's the front of the box itself and I do want to mention of course this is Gigabyte's Ultra Durable 4 Plus, which essentially means they're incorporating all solid cap design in their motherboard, meaning that the solid caps and capacitors themselves, I should say, are actually going to give you a little bit more longer life and a little bit more uh, heat resistance. But aside from that, I'm going to flip to the back of the box here and show you a little bit more about this particular motherboard. Now, I mentioned already that they have uh, an all solid cap design as well as they have high temperature protection using lower RDS which is essentially resistance drain to source and uh, on their MOSFET design which allows them to use a lower conduction, conduction losses and improve system efficiency on this particular motherboard. Uh, also 15 microns of gold that has been plated on the uh, pins themselves as well as using four, a total of four fan connectors and the PCB itself is actually using something called a glass fabric PCB, essentially allowing the weaving of the PCB itself to provide a little more, a little more rigidity, a little more strength to this particular design. Let's open up the box and take a look at it. So let's start with the paperwork first. Uh, first off, we do have their user manual from Gigabyte. And I just want to flip through and show you a little bit of what you're actually going to see inside this particular manual. I know that Paul's a really big fan of the block diagram itself really helpful if you're trying to track down how this particular board is put together and how it's using all the all the internal features and a little bit on how to install your CPU and RAM and other useful things in the manual itself including how to uh, observe the UFI and, and different features inside that so moving right along of course we do have a guidebook as well multilingual for other installation needs to bring to the table a badge a gigabyte badge as well as the, uh, the CD with all the additional software and drivers, although I do recommend going to Gigabyte's website and actually downloading those drivers, or Intel's as well, since this is a Z87 chipset uh, board. Now, on top of that, they do give you a total of four SATA cables. Now, these are backwards compatible uh, from SATA 3 all the way down to 1. So just keep that in mind, the cables are going to be the same. Also, it uh, looks like two of them are straight cables and two of them are 90 degree cables. So that'll be easier when you're putting in some of your drives. You also have the motherboard IO shield here. Of course, you're going to need to put that in before you actually install the motherboard in your case. Some people do forget that, don't forget. And let's move right along to the motherboard itself. So here's the Z87 HD3. And I just want to show you guys first the fact that it has a mainly black and a little bit of yellow on the heat sinks themselves. Of course, this is for the voltage, the power delivery for the CPU, and this is the one for the chipset itself. Also, almost a, a black, maybe almost a chocolate color to the PCB itself. I'll flip that to the back so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see here all the traces everywhere. On top of that, do notice that these are Phillips head screws for each of the heat sinks, so you could actually remove these if you'd like to and replace them with something else. Flip back to the front again so you can take a look at that. I'll start here at the bottom right. First off, we do have six uh, SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports along with two USB 2.0 headers. And you have the front panel connector, so you can connect all your buttons and switches and everything else to your case. Next to that, looks like another USB 2.0 header. Uh, let me lift that up a little bit just so you can see it maybe a little bit better. And we have the logical parallel port connector, just for your parallel port. Uh, COM port connector, we have two SPDIF ins, that is for the Realtek audio that is on board on this particular board. Uh, front panel connector for your audio. If I move up the side of the board here, you'll actually see the audio, the Realtek audio codec. It's an ALC892 chip. Expanding out a little bit further from that, we can actually see the PCI Express ports here, as well as two PCI slots for your legacy uh, peripherals should you need to use them. This does come with two PCI slots. So at the very top here we do have a PCIe 16X native to the Z87 chipset along with two PCI X1s and one PCI X4. I do want to mention since we're looking at it there's two of the four total uh, fan headers on this particular board. Uh, moving right to the, here the Z87 chipset being housed over by that, uh, that actual heat sink and if I just look around the side of the corner here I'm having some trouble seeing it that's one of the fan headers one of the four USB 3.0 header 24 pin ATX power next to that we have our four dim slots now of course 
because it is a Z87 chipset along with most of the other prior chipsets, you're looking at a maximum of 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's of course a maximum of eight gigabyte DIMMs each. The speed of that RAM, 1600 or 1333 mega transfers per second. Uh, if I look here to the left of that, we have the fourth, the final of the four CPU fan headers. Uh, the ATX 8 pins CPU supplemental power. Then underneath that, we do have the power delivery system underneath the heat sink here. Now to the main event of this particular motherboard, the LGA socket 1150 socket CPU. And I will move that out of the way. Of course, that is the fourth generation Haswell CPU. Do mention that this is actually not compatible with prior versions. So the socket 1155 CPU is not gonna work in this, just to let you guys know. Also, 15 microns of gold uh, plating on those pins themselves, just helping to lower the uh, resistance and give you guys a little bit better of an overclock should you decide to overclock this particular board on your Haswell chips. So here on the I.O. on the back, we do see that we have two USB ports as well as one PS2 port. You do have three video outs thanks to the Haswell chip and the fact that the iGPU is on that chip itself. You can actually run three video outs simultaneously. Uh, we do have the D-Sub as well as a DVI and a, an HDMI, as well as four USB 3.0s, a Realtek Gigabit Ethernet, and we have the Realtek Audio also, which I mentioned before is the ALC892 audio codec. Okay, everybody, that wraps up this overview of Gigabyte's Z87 HD3 motherboard. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe to any of our various YouTube channels, and we'll see you guys soon.